Welcome, Mini Fanatics. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the new WizKids D&D Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures Goblins. And this is their new miniature line that is a plastic miniature line. And it is pre-primered with Vallejo white primer. So these guys are ready to paint right out of the box. Almost all the blisters go for $3.99 and you get anywhere from three minis for $3.99 or two for character type models or human size models like orcs or gnolls. And with those you get a kind of a starting character, mid-level character, and then you get a more advanced character for as you level up. So you have the same miniature but just kind of a... a a lower and a higher level type look to them for your D&D games. So let's take a look. Um, these are the goblins and they're about 28 millimeter roughly. Uh, they would fit into any other miniature line quite nicely. Uh, these particular D&D goblins are, are kind of on the small side but goblins are small so personally I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, they also have a Pathfinder line called Pathfinder Battles, and uh, the Pathfinder Battles line has about 15 uh, blisters released in that, and the um, the D and D Nolzer's Marvelous Miniature line has 33 miniatures currently released. And let's go ahead and uh, pop these guys open. I don't like to to tear into packaging just to protect the models so they don't break while we're opening them. And I uh, wanted to do this to give you guys a closer look at the miniatures themselves so you can see what you're getting. Pop these open. And here are the bases. They come with three individual bases, which is pretty nice. Set these aside. And here are the miniatures themselves. Let's get up close. So you got a goblin with a shield and a sword, you've got an archer, he's holding his arrow and a bow, and then you've got kind of like your heavy damage goblin with the, the battle axe. Let's pop this guy out first. So take a closer look. Really really nice detail. And this is, like I said, this is a, a different kind of plastic than what the Bones miniatures are made out of. This plastic feels harder. So. Here's the Archer. And he's got a quiver of arrows on his back. That's kind of cool. Very good detail. Looks like there's a dagger in his waistband as well and a pouch. Let's take a look at the swordsman. He's got a ponytail flying behind him as he's swinging his sword. Nice little round buckler shield. They're very dynamic poses too. face, fur on the boots, alright so there's the miniatures up close, we'll have some still shots coming up next and I wanted to show you the back of the packaging as well, so you get painted samples on the back. This line's available right now and it's selling very fast, so enjoy.